Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat. Today I'm working my way through another five minutes of another game in my library, which has grown a little vast and uh, unplayed and sad about that. I've decided to remedy it by playing five minutes of every game, I hope, <laughs> someday, uh, one at a time. And today, it's Bit Dungeon 2's turn. Um, you can play it with the mouse or the controller, but I found some interesting things with the controller, um, perhaps some bugs as well, like that, um, <laughs> where the mouse and the controller get in the way of each other. Um, but the most fascinating thing about it to me is that there is no attack button. You just walk into things, as you'll see here in a bit. I have recently deleted my saved game, and I'm starting over, and um, here we are. You're this little blue dude and we will wander about and see what five minutes of gameplay is like. There's a very small bit of story here. Oh. Join me in death something. I'll go back and pause the video and read it later. You can like get in the fire to get health, which is kind of interesting and good to know. It shows you your stats, which you can also bring up by pressing X. And uh, I used A to interact with that ghost person that disappeared, and there's a like a blue Yoda, pressed A to talk to him. I think I something remember being dead. Um, let's go with the axe and the... that would... oh, I can carry both. Hmm, axe and spear. That seems interesting. Versus a shield. Let's try that. Alright. So here you go. And, and yeah, like you just show up in a level and you start killing stuff. Uh, hopefully, and not the other way around. And these guys are like huge and scary with swords to them. They're fascinating. Uh, let's keep going to the right. Oh, more. And more. Oh, and they killed something. Or somebody did. The giant ice sword. Okay, so there are, there are uh, you know, roguelike drops here. Um, I can switch out my spear for a swift book, which I think I've done. Uh, B, no, Y brings up the menu where you can see stuff there. What's this down here? Ooh, a deadly axe. Yeah, let's swap for that. Alright, so now, oh, it's a two-hander. Alright, let's go and wield this deadly axe. With that, oh my goodness, this looks boss-like. Are we gonna get a boss already? <gasps> no, a fortress. Oh, awesome. I believe the levels are randomized because it's been different every time I've played it. Oh, who is this guy? Ah, uh, skeletons. No, don't, don't. Am I, what happened? Ouch. Oh, I'm getting frozen. That's it. That's it. Nice. Half dead and no health. Ooh. A tough beggar's hood. Let's try it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I do look like a tough beggar. Check that out. Alright, here we go. Wham. But, yeah, it's it's like auto-equip all the things. It's pretty fascinating that way. Um, and I'm still almost dead. This hat thing isn't helping much. No, I am dead. Game over. Okay, and let's see where it sends me back to. Back here. And we learned last time that we can squat in the fire and get health here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see some more of the space. And I'll go north this time. Yeah, but all I'm doing is walking into them, which I found strange. If oh, okay, that that was holding A. So when I just tapped it, he holds it down. But apparently I've I've got a little special thing. Oh, and he walks slower, and then... Rah! Oh, doesn't do much on these guys. Am I charging up? Can't tell. No. That's my normal hit. That's weird. Oh, what is this? Ooh, a blessed beggar's cape. Awesome. Here we go. A beggar with a death sword. Death axe. Double-handed crazy thing. Oh, man. Oh, the... The axe is pretty incredible. Can I charge it up? Oh, well, it's right away. Don't... Don't just do that. So, for my part, I like pushing buttons. And it feels a little weird to have it automatically done for me when I walk close to stuff. But it's not all bad. You get used to it. Um, it's certainly unique. Man, it's a serious axe. Oh, I'm dizzy or something. I'm stuck and getting hurt. Poison, maybe? I don't know. No stuff, man. Oh, wow, scene change. Oh, skeletons this time. 
I don't want to go all the way back to the fire, but I could use some help. Uh, what's in here? Oh, what? There's things glowing. Oh my, those are cool. The character design is certainly awesome in this game. Uh, the pixel art adaptation, isn't it? Oh, nice fire. In we go. Oh, I feel so much better. All right, screen flash every time. I don't know why. Hey, Yoda. Uh, it's all the same stuff. Or not Yoda. I'm sure your name is not Yoda. My apologies. Um, all right, it's been almost five minutes. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see one more scary place. Oh, what? I just walked right through it. Can I do something inside of it? Um, okay. Maybe there's something to do. Oh, treasure chest! Alright, let's go get that treasure chest. And then... And then we'll stop. Oh, wow. Lasers or something? That was strange. Alright, what's in the chest? Yeah... Oh. A heavy staff. Nah, it's got nothing on the axe. Alright, folks. Until next time. Thanks for tuning in for another five minutes of another random game pulled randomly from my random library of random stuff. <laughs> Have a great day.